Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. A family of <sighs> demons is still a family. And as in all families, there are disputes. She... Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did it kind. No, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with I've the met three demons. Her. But this is my castle, cool. and everyone is the master of their own home. The voice in Elizabeth's head. It was you. It was my father, to be precise. <sighs> so, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. Mm -hmm. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? We're the subtitles! You must suspect that there we, go. we asked ourselves that <laughs> very same <laughs> question. Fear. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wants to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. Why? The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but... After living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflect pleasure you can. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I have something to show you. There, there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? He needs me, he wants me to retrieve the spear, he needs the spur of order. I can see where he's going with this. I mean, this is the only one that doesn't cost me anything, so... I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean, am I a demon? Would you like that? I must admit that the idea is appealing. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you I, know I, I am telling you the visions. truth. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop yes. it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders think, unconscious. My mother can't have lied to me about that. Well. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I, what do you mean? Louis. <gasps> I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No! 
it, no, it's not possible. You are my son. <gasps> Liar! Well, well. Got him! So now you're his bastard! You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns! Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot I just your kid! Your life. Ah, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him. <laughs> you guys still let me help him. Fuck. I'm not like Mortimer. Mortimer is smiling. How can I trust a human dare to threaten me? I also like to know what's happening. He has to let me help. I. Ah, fuck. You don't know the whole story. You ought to let me help you. One more move and I'll shoot you down, you bastard. Jack. You'll end up hurting yourself if you continue like this. There's no one to save here anyway. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Oh, sweet Jesus! I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Nothing, I'm still the same. And what difference does it make to him? Make him believe that you already knew that it was- No, I was already shocked, that doesn't count. And what difference does it make to him? A lot of difference, I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Wait, Jack, Good. if it weren't for me, you, you'd be dead by now. You've seen who I am, oh, and this so-called revelation makes no difference. Fuck. I'm not a slave fuck. to my birth, and I refuse to pretend to be a victim. I am Louis de Richet. Do you really believe you've got Louis enough strength to resist him? I am who I am. Only our actions truly define us. And you can threaten me all you want. It won't make any difference. Don't change, Louis. You're strong. I wasn't able to make it. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You Is always he gonna try and kill choice. himself again? You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. If he shoots me, there will be no one to stop Mortimer. Your daughter will grow up without a father. I would be a good demon. He doesn't know Mortimer very well. In fact, demons will always exist. I mean, I guess I didn't investigate enough, and that's why that's crossed out. I would be a good demon. He doesn't know Mortimer very well. In fact, demons will always exist. No one to stop Mortimer. I'm the one who can help you resolve the situation. I'm just asking you to trust me. I'm not against you. <laughs> it's over. Come now. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you, and not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. <laughs> Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, <laughs> that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well oh, my as sweet that Jesus. of your daughter. You are such a fucking troublemaker. You are such a piece of shit. <sighs> I hate him. Not, not I too shaken up. You've experienced baby. many significant events since your arrival. Yeah, yeah. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You want to talk Don't things over call with me her. That. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all So why do I have no time. memories? Of you? Before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Absolutely Just let not. me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been Is happening to, to you control me right deep now? inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. 
It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's... a sound very... very faint. That's that right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... whispers... words... mixed voices... Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. What the I, hell? I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. What the oh, fuck? I, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, you, all you have to do you is me? make them think about it. But I would break their spirit one night, but that'd be a violation of project. <laughs> Great. <laughs> But it, it'd be a violation of their most intimate thoughts, wouldn't it? To begin with, there's nothing obliging you to do it. You already had the ability without even knowing it. I just gave you the Let option of putting it into practice if you want. Moreover, it would be wrong to evoke morality here. Every species Why? is different, Louis. And this is the way we are made. That's all there is to it. You are free to use this talent or not. And what's more, it will be up to you to decide what to do oh, with the thoughts you read. So that is where the values of right and wrong do come into play. There are also like... a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used Fuck between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often mm. react quite violently. It's considered like bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Why Sarah. Why do you have to Louis. question? Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. You're not able to hear the superficial thoughts of your in interlocutor. Fuck. Each use of the mind reading ability costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted to an immunity, two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Do I want to even use it? N no. You're right. I need to go now. See you later, Lord Mortimer. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Cool! It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. I mean, it's not cool. It's terrible. Sir. I only got 43 out of 55. Who was this? Shit! One on this side. Okay. 
Okay, just click. Devil's thorn. Okay. You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. Our I should... personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my Sweet other Jesus. half. Calm down, Emily. Calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. She may as well kill the bitch. It doesn't matter now. arm. That's only one. Sarah didn't kill him. You're a non-murderer. No one's gonna die here. Read her mind. Uh, let's... Emily, put the weapon down. She, she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Well, to be fair, we've all made mistakes. And I look at her, Emily. Sister. She's paid for hers. I'm all alone now. Duchess, I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Ah, you. Shut your mouth. You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for it's Emma, true. she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me, Emily. What did you say? Sarah must die. I must be my hand. No, you are not like Sarah. Don't make the same mistake again. Ah, uh, let's go with that one's that you're one is too like close to home. Neither you nor Emma are like Sarah. Ever since you got here, you've always tried to help me. I trust you, Emily. You were and a Emma bitch. would never have betrayed me either. No, she... She wasn't like that. She was loyal. But why did Sarah she tried to betray kill you. Emma? Why? I... Your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. And? She would never have talked, even under torture. So why get rid of her? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there for God's sake. So what are you talking about? She won't believe me if I tell her Mortimer is a demon. Emma would have cracked. Ali is if had to disappear. That's what makes the most amount of sense. Emma would have cracked. It's gonna piss her off. Ali and Zeev had to disappear once again. She's like, no, if I got Emma out, it was fine. She won't believe me. I tell her. I feel like that's insulting because we've developed a repertoire after I saved her life. This <sighs> Emily Mortimer's yeah. a demon, in the literal sense of the word. What a Lord Mortimer has been around since the Third Crusade. He fiddles with his family records so he can keep maintaining his identity. I know it sounds crazy. But I swear on everything I hold dear, that's the truth. What? But when did- Louis, I... Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I know, but it's the truth, Emily. How do you expect me to accept this? We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such beliefs. Do you remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In his study, mm -hmm. he keeps the Mortimer family tree. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade, and they are all called William. He justifies his uh -huh. own existence, Emily. Look, I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... Unfortunately for us, <laughs> it would be impossible to even make up a story your like sister that. For one. All right, I believe you. Thank him. You owe him your life. I have always been very lucky to have Shut him as my son. Beep, beep, beep. 